Stephen Fry, a treasured British icon, but how well do you know him? Here are five facts you may not know. Stephen is a humanist. Fry opposes organised religion and identifies as an atheist. Although he's admitted to feeling inspired by other people's faith, he is adamant that religion has brought great terror to the world too, in particular the Catholic Church. In a heated 2009 debate, he criticised the Church's stance on sexuality, saying, It's hard for me to be told that, be told that I'm evil because I think of myself as someone who is filled with love." And in a 2015 interview on Irish TV to Gay Bryn, Stephen claimed that if there is a god, he is quite clearly a maniac, and how dare he create a world with such misery. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid god who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? This famous interview resulted in Fry and Irish broadcaster RTE being criminally investigated for blasphemy. Stephen has been to prison. Fry's early life wasn't so admirable. According to him, he was a monstrous child and had to be expelled from school twice. Unfortunately, his reckless approach to life carried over to early adulthood when he failed his A-levels after not turning up for two of his exams. In the following summer, he absconded a credit card that he found in a coat belonging to a family friend. Eventually, he was arrested and spent three months in prison, but upon release, Stephen started a new page in his life by retaking his A-levels and passing the Cambridge University exams. And the rest, as they say, is history. Stephen is a mental health campaigner. Fryer's psychothymia, a form of bipolar disorder which has led to bouts of depression and suicidal thoughts. One of the hardest moments in his life was in 1995 when Stephen suffered a nervous breakdown after reporters criticised his performances in a new London West End play alongside Rick Mayle. After considering ending his life, Stephen instead fled England to never return. So it's a reality. I, I could not go on. And I would have killed myself if I didn't have the option of disappearing. However, Mr Fry has since fought to raise awareness of mental health issues through fundraising and an Emmy award-winning documentary in 2006. Stephen is also president of England and Wales mental health charity, Mind. Stephen abstained from sex for 16 years. Greatly lacking self-confidence due to his uphill struggle with homosexuality, Stephen abstained from sexual activity for 16 years up to the mid-1990s, but Stephen is now happily married after wedding his partner, Elliot Spencer, in 2015. Once asked about when he knew about his sexuality, Mr Fry joked that after being born, he looked back at his mother and thought, that's the last time I'll be back at one of those. Stephen Fry remains best friends with Hugh Laurie. Fry and Laurie first met at Cambridge University through mutual friend Emma Thompson, becoming best friends after joining the world-famous comedy group Cambridge Footlights. Together, they became a popular comedy duo and starred in a bit of Fry and Laurie, Jeeves and Worcester, and with Rowan Axon, Tony Robbins and others in some episodes of Black Adder. Row, row, row your pants gently down the stream. Belts off, trousers down, is a life a scream. <laughs> Stephen was also best man for Hugh's wedding, and he's godfather to his three children. But fans hoping to see Fry and Laurie reunite on screen again are unlikely to see them in sketch comedy. As Stephen has explained that they're too old for that now, but they do talk to discuss returning to screens together in some other fashion. The charming Stephen Fry has had a very interesting life, but you may also not know that he appeared for Cambridge University on University Challenge in 1980, as well as the fake University Challenge in an episode of The Young Ones. <laughs> Please like, comment and subscribe, and why not watch one of our other videos? Tap one of these links or visit the channel page. Thanks for watching and good night!